Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe with the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. The Devils signed Dougie Hamilton. I'm so happy about this. It finally became official. You know, you heard the, the throughout the day there was a report that we signed him. It, and then throughout the day, you heard that there was they had to iron out some, some deals with it. And everybody was saying, oh, they're optimistic. It will get done. So... You always have that error of a doubt where he's going to, you know, potentially go somewhere else and not sign with the Devils. So uh, it got a little nerve wracking towards the end, but it did become official close to six o'clock. So Dougie Hamilton is a devil for the next seven years. And I'm happy about that because our defense looks really good now with the additions that Fitzgerald made. So in this video, I want to talk about the Devils free agency, how today went, the signing of Jonathan Bernier, the signing of Dougie Hamilton and the trade with Will Butcher that just happened a little while ago and uh, the curiosity behind it. So Please stay with me throughout. A lot to talk about in this one. So the Devils signed Jonathan Bernier to a two-year deal worth uh, with an AAV of $4.125 million. Um, he played lastly for the Detroit Red Wings. He posted a 9-11-1 record, .914 save percentage, and a 2.99 GAA. So when you're looking at his stats on a yearly base basis, his, um, his save percentage was always over 900. Uh, I think Bernier adds a lot to this team. He's a good complement piece to Mackenzie Bl Blackwood. I really think that's a good tandem to have going into this year. Definitely an upgrade over what we had last year with the goalie carousel of Dell, Comrie, and um, you know Wedgwood. I think this is a good upgrade, and I think he will help this team out. So, you know, Amanda Stein tweeted, um, Amanda, uh, Brodeur helped secure Bernier on signing here. It played a big part. Of course, whenever you have the GOAT uh, trying to uh, lure you in, you have to go towards that way. Um, Marty talked to him about life in New Jersey, how they see him fitting in with McKenzie. And Bernier went on to say, obviously, they love McKenzie. They think the world of him, but I'm here to make this team better, which he does. So I like this tandem that we have, this uh, tandem of Blackwood and Bernier. I think it's going to be a good uh, one-two punch going into this year. So the Devils upgrade their goaltending. How do they do on their defense? And they signed the biggest fish out there, which was Dougie Hamilton. So first you heard the reports close to 12... Uh, till uh, 12 p.m. that you heard him in reports sign this deal for seven years for 60 million which was an 8.5 million AAV and you kind of thought it was going to be in that range the eight to nine million range um, you heard the reports of what um, the Hurricanes lastly gave him and um, you know it wasn't nowhere near this so um, you know you heard that the Devils were going to be the front runners and you know there was the report that came out that he signed and when it came out that he signed that deal uh, Devils fans were like all right 8.5 is okay, but then it delayed, delayed, delayed till the till the end of the day. Then it became official that he signed a seven-year deal worth $63 million, which is a $9 million AAV. So, you know, I like this signing. That Dougie Hamilton will add a lot to this team. Uh, he adds a power play quarterback, which is kind of what we were lacking. Um, you know, he's a big frame defenseman. He can put up points. He can do a lot of things on the ice. And, um, you know, looking at our six now, you have... Um, Graves, Hamilton, you have Smith and um, Subban. Then you have Siegenthaler and Severson. And I really like this six. So, um, you know, our goaltending is pretty much set. Our defense looks really good. Um, we'll see what happens if he, if uh, Fitzgerald is able to land a top six forward. You're hearing the rumors of um, Tarasenko going around. The St. Louis Blues want to move him so they can make other moves as well. But... Um, you know, that hasn't happened yet, so we'll see what happens with Tarasenko. That's a huge rumor, and the Devils are in on it. And it was the Islanders, but if the Islanders go the route of uh, Palmieri and Parisi, I don't see them adding Tarasenko as well. So, you know, we'll see what happens with this. You know, adding more speculation is this Butcher trade. You know, the Devils traded Will Butcher to the Buffalo Sabres uh, with the 2022 fifth-round pick. Now, when you're looking at Cap Friendly, Cap Friendly shows that we have two picks in the 2022 draft, so... Uh, two fifth round picks so we lost one of them we still have a fifth round pick but um you know the curiosity is the devils have a lot of cap space why would they have to add an additional pick and nothing coming back just future considerations coming back from the buffalo sabers which is technically nothing we'll never hear of what these future considerations are but um yeah so that clears out 3.73 million on our um on our caps so the devils currently sit with a, a little bit over $22 million in cap space. So is this a precursor to a bigger trade that the Devils are working on? You know, to trade out Butcher and a, and a pick for nothing? It, it just doesn't make sense at this point. I understand that the Devils were up against the cap, but they're not. So it, it just adds a lot to what the Devils may do next. You know, 
I don't know. I'm curious to see what happens. So it's been a good day so far leading up to, um, you know, all these moves that have happened. Um, I like the Bernier edition. I love the Dougie Hamilton signing. And, you know, it, it's showing more that NHL players are seeing New Jersey as a destination. They're seeing the Devils as a team on the rise with the good young talent we have. So, um, you know, I love what Fitzgerald has done on day one. Hopefully we hear about a, a trade or something that happens or a signing tonight. There's still a couple of good names out there. Uh, in forward, if the Devils look towards Saad or other names like that to really upgrade our forward core. So we'll see what happens. Uh, if anything else happens, I'll do a video on it later or tomorrow. So comment below. What do you think about the Devils signings? What do you think about the Will Butcher trade? Comment below and let me know. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. Join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy. Dougie Hamilton. Stay safe, everybody.